All right here. Then we've got a very, very straight rotary mower. Um, it's it's a hardy, okay? Got the original sticker on the side of this thing. It's a hardy. And uh, they made one heavy duty cutter. Very heavy duty. There's the serial number tag. It's got a big gearbox with a slip clutch, category two pins. My customer, we bought him back out. He said he bought this off of us several years ago and it's been a good cutter. We uh, grease in the gearbox, okay? So make sure you put grease in it when you use it. Um, gearbox feels good. Feels really good. Man, that thing's heavy duty. Um, we'll show you underneath of it, but you can see this deck besides the paint is darn near perfect. It's got dual tail wheels on it that are straight. Uh, this cutter has not been abused. He said he gave us a lot of money for it back when he bought it. And he probably only used it a few times. Got 540 PTO. It's been setting. So check your grease. Fill it with grease when you go to use it. It does have a stump jumper on it. I mean, I'm going to tell you, even look at the sides on this thing. They are perfectly straight because they are heavy duty. It's got the slides on each side. I don't think I can fault this cutter besides just make sure your gearbox is full of grease because it had grease in it instead of gear oil. And other than that, it looks real good. It's not even been backed into anything. And you can see these wheels are straight. Um, just hard to find a cutter that looks like this. Honestly, unless you buy the heavy, heavy duties today, they don't compare to this. And this this is probably not a spring chicken for a hardy, you know, uh, it's probably got a little age on it, but it's it's very nice for what it is. So 